Hello and welcome to the Evil Within once again. It finally finally released its DLC, the assignment. Uh, I think the game was released in October, so it's been November, December, January, February, March. Five months it has taken them to release a DLC. I had completely forgotten about this, uh, but I knew there was a reason for me to keep the game installed and taking all this space on my solid state drives. So without further ado, I kick it off. It's Julia Kidman. Was it Julia? I think it was that. <clears throat> Can I load here? No, it's completely new. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> Doors can be opened while peeking from cover. Can we do that before? I honestly do not remember. They existed together, but each saw things in their own way. It was as if each patient's consciousness filled in the blanks, creating their own reality. Do you stand with Mobius? I do. I made my choice. <laughs> Oh, this is after the scene with the ambulance. We are missing our gun. He's gone. The letter box should disappear now. Right? There we go, chapter one. An oath. From this angle, it looks like she has a beard. Uh, quickly, just gonna check out the options. I completely forgot about that. Uh, hardware settings, disabled full screen, 60 frames, vertical sync, good. Disabled motion blur, yeah, everything seems in order. Yeah. And. Okay. Now done! Evil within DLC, the home was it homecoming? Crash. I wasn't alone. Where is everybody? I should probably check out Crash. Oh man, I have to upgrade her all the way as well. That's no fun. No hmm. blood or anything. So who is this Mobius? Um, uh, I should probably have mentioned this before I started recording well I had to start the recording in order to mention it but before I started playing um, spoilers by the way um, there may be spoilers in this DLC that has something to do with the main game so if you don't want anything spoiled I do recommend go play the original game yeah hello this looks Yes, this is this can be found in the first game. Uh. In the original one with the I don't remember the name of the main character. Oh, yeah, right. Uh Come on, we need that stamina back. Oh, hello. Is this new? And that's Leslie. So check that immediately. 
Is her heel stuck in his... Yeah. She truly is a rookie. What police woman would go with high heels? Or detective for that matter. We can't run in them. Not effectively at least. Yes, they can be used when kicking and stabbing, but yeah. No woman. That was a poor choice. Shit. I've gotta get out of here. If I had been her boss, I would have told her to get home, change those shoes, or be fired. Something over there, but I would like to crawl into a hole. Let's check this one first. <laughs> uh. Here's something. What's this sound? Hmm. Let's see, uh, space. KCPD criminal record. Hmm, discrimination. A description, not discrimination. Juvenile offense. Okay, it's a different kind of cases. Uh, all of them are recorded, expunged. Juvenile offenses, criminal trespass, destruction of property, alcohol, arrest, burglary, substance, robbery with the use of firearm, assault, grand theft, criminal evasion, r resisting assault, ass arrest, assault, an officer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can kick. And she's actually using her heels for that matter. That's good at least. What the What is he talking about? Ah, space to climb over. Costellanos, that's the name of the main antagonist. Where's Joseph? Was it? Uh, I keep forgetting which one it is. Antagonist or protagonist? Okay, well something's going on, and we need to get out of here, or she'll die. And he's coming behind us right now, I think. Settle down, Leslie. Come on. Leslie. Leslie. Leslie Withers. I'm sorry? Kid, I need you focused. I need your attention. This is a serious matter. Everything we do is a serious matter. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'd like to think so, but conviction must be proven with action. As I was saying, your target is Leslie Withers. He's a patient at Beacon Mental Hospital. But he's something more. Simply put, we need him to run our STEM system. Without this asset, our research will mean nothing. I don't understand. We own Beacon. Why not just take him? Our relationship with his advisor, Marcelo Jimenez, has become rather strained. The boy is a leverage piece. Jimenez plans to activate a STEM prototype at Beacon without our permission. Obviously, that's unsuitable. Have no illusions. It will be dangerous. Come, take a walk. The nurses are waiting. Hmm. Hmm. Deja vu. 
Hey there. Where did you come from? Uh, game mode settings. Uh, okay. I should save that, I guess. Did I ever get a chance to choose uh, difficulty? I can't remember. So the cat is a safe location. Or is this couch? What can I find out about this desk? Doesn't look like there's anything there. Okay, let's not dilly down too long. Just follow him. Where did he go? Man, this woman does not have any lung capacity at all. Where are we? Whoa, okay. Hello? That's not creepy at all. Lounge. You are going to the si sisters. Uh, escalators. I think we're going this way. The other one was red, if I'm not mistaken. It's not that brown in here, which is rather nice. What the bloody hell is this place? We're in, a, we're in the simulator, that much I know. Well, I don't really know that, but I like to believe so. Place our hands here. Hold space. <laughs> Good. Who are you? If Jimenez activates the system, you'll be pulled in. Hopefully he doesn't. But as a precaution, we've prepared an infusion to prevent contamination. Like a vaccine? To protect me? More accurately, to hide you. We develop Stan, but there is a ghost in the system. Something we call Ruvik. It means to keep us out. This infusion should protect you to some extent. Yeah, main character. The original game. <clears throat> Yanos, that's his name. That is his last Why name at least. Alone? You won't be alone. You'll be with your team from KPD. You'll get a call on the radio reporting an incident at Beacon. Everything will be arranged. But their consequences of little value. In regards to your mission, they're expendable. Okay, well that much for you. you the consequences for failure loyalty is a sensitive subject for us trust is such a valued commodity in today's world so once again I ask you do you stand with Mobius I do I made my choice now you must back up your words with actions do not yeah. waver Now I'm going to count down, and when I'm finished, I'll ask you a series of questions. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I'd like to ask you some questions. Have you ever felt abandoned by the ones you trusted?
Hey! Anyone? I guess we'll figure out next time. Hope you enjoyed this short episode with mostly cutscenes. And I hope you'll, I'll see you again next time. So, thank you for watching. And goodbye. <laughs>